JD, you were mentioning that the iPlayer yep. may be a chargeable item from a licence fee point of view. Yes, I read somewhere, I think it was on, on Facebook somewhere, that uh, unfortunately all those people who think they can have something for free they can't anymore. I play it with, you have to have a license. We, we will have to have a license soon. They're going to actually watch. Slate. Yes, they are. I, I don't know how it's going to go, but um, whatever the circumstances, you've got to pay. Oh. <laughs> so if you're watching something on iPlayer, you've got to have a license. Yep. So they must think that people are going to accept this. They Do probably won't, no. Well, do you think it's all part of BBC Three going going online, and are they going to do any more? I don't understand why they did that. Actually, no idea why. That is the most popular one. Actually, I I used to watch much more BBC Three than maybe BBC Two or One. Yeah, I don't think you're alone. Mm. I would I would agree with you. Well, let's Mm. let's say the over. We we won't we won't be too sort of. uh, categorical in our analysis of what's going on, but let's say people over 40 who might mm. be thought to be re watching or listening to Radio 2. And we were just talking when Chris was coming in about the iPlayer and BBC 3 moving online and whether BBC 4 or something else would go online as well. What I think is going to be very interesting is when the Radio 1 Big Weekend arrives in Exeter. Uh, what they do with the video on that. Uh, by the way, the Hevitry Community Association will be in Hevitry Park on the Monday, the same weekend. So I'll be mentioning that as well as it, as it goes along. And probably a bit more Radio 2 style of music we'll be playing, I would think. But I don't know, I just, I just wanted... JD, you, you were saying that you do watch some... Uh, BBC Three, or you have been, you have watched previously. Yes, I have. Well, I've watched quite a lot of it on there. So you, you, know, you dive into these places, don't you, to f- watch something which you're interested in? And I think BBC Three was something a bit out of the ordinary from BBC One, should we say? Yeah. So, do you think it's going to make much difference? The fact it's not on television. I think it will actually, because they won't get many, many list, uh, watchers because people don't. Not the older people, shall say, they don't have online facilities, do they? Well, I don't know. I, th- I would like. I think it could go the other way as well. That that people who do watch BBC Four on a Friday, let's say, find most of it is is repeats. Most of it is stuff that they BBC recorded thirty, forty years ago. So maybe that's when people's taste was formed. But I think they might well be watching something something more re- recorded more recently or varied or varied about in some way well it's going to make it very difficult for people to actually record something and watch it late, later on um because nowadays you can do that with any tv you can plug a, a usb stick in and record something if you want to right and watch it later on but uh, because now that's online it's going to be rather difficult for those people who don't have online facilities uh, well, perhaps that's why they're going to start charging for the iPlayer. Oh, right. Maybe they, maybe You're everybody... getting the VCR out, are you? Well, if they, <laughs> if they are going to charge for the iPlayer, they ought to provide more stuff for it. Yes. Well, it's just a way of, of recording, even for the older folk who don't understand all this high-tech technology. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> even us in the studio here, <laughs> we're getting to grips with it. <laughs> well, maybe. 